Hi, it's Karen. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch, back for another Chatting Over Cards. This is probably my favorite Chatting Over Cards to do because it's when we walk through the catalog. Now, we're not showing any cards that are returning from last year, so we're just looking at brand new stamp sets. A handful I've shown before because we as demonstrators could pre-order them, but now I got card swaps back. I'm using most of them. So we're just gonna look at the ones that I have a card for. But before that, I have a couple of important announcements. Uh, I do have a new, I finally remembered, I do have a new host code this month. It is July. And I'm sure somebody could come up with a great sentence for this, but uh, <laughs> Z-G-T-Y-B-N-F-F. And if you're ever wondering what the host code is, I try to put them Zippy. on this video, but also you can just go to KarenTitus.com and it's right there on the side what the host code is. So good, welcome to a bunch of you on here. And two other important things, the fundraiser, I said, this is so cool. Now we added, we sold 232 items. So yeah, this was over a few years of my stampin' supplies, all sold for good cause. We also, everyone who requested a card catalog before we cut it off, so that we sold a lot more than the five that um, we'd said. So these were $20 donations. But, and now here's the big, uh, there's the big if, if everyone actually pays the invoices as they get sent now, we raised just over, and this includes um, a couple people just sent in donations, but we raised just over $4,000. I had no idea. I am so thrilled that we did that and that we can put that in. So is that just amazing? That is, that's very So Holly amazing. has been um, exhausted because, it, it, you know, if you think of that many items and people are requesting different things, she just has a lot to get done. And now it's to invoice everyone, then to see they get paid, then I get the label and what people ordered. Uh, so then my <laughs> my heavy work starts. So meanwhile, they, I just have these crates of stamp sets ready to go out. But I think that is so cool. I'm thrilled about that. And then the last comment, because we have been so busy, um, the All Good Cards Club, which is supposed to be the founding members, is supposed to end now. We extended it to Friday because Holly will not have time until the weekend to put send out invoices for that. So there is still time to is join the All Good Cards sometime Club. Sometime in June, was it? <laughs> June, you just sign up. You're supposed to be billed no. at the beginning of July. No, when you wrote but down just the wrong later. date. Oh, and I wrote down, oh yes, I wrote down that we extended it to June 10th instead of July 10th. But <laughs> I was, of course, corrected. Uh, over in the backboard stamper, so that was awesome. But just want you to know, we're going to have a lot of fun, and it's just a fifteen dollar a month. So anyway, I'll, I'll put a link for more information on that. So, oh, that's awesome! You guys are thrilled, and I thought, oh, I, I'm just so thrilled to, yeah, send that money in. So we will do that next week. So so much more than I'd hoped for. You're right. I boy, those stamps add added up, and you know, most of the items sold. I mean, I I, I don't even know. I don't know the details, but. I know it was a much, much bigger job than either Holly or I anticipated, and she's got the hard work with the record keeping, so we appreciate that. So, so we are thrilled, so we are ready. Tim is gonna join me, and he picked out three of his favorites in here, so he'll, he'll just talk about those when they come along. So, all right, we are ready. Okay, so I'm just gonna so, pop ahead. Is this? A good height. Okay, is this is. a good yes, height? It is. Tim will look and see. It is. Okay, we're going to start with the Boho. What? What? what uh, I have to think of what the name of this one is. It's um Boho Indigo. Oh, okay. Look at this stunning card. This is a package deal where you get all these things together, including the stamp set. But is this just stylish? Sorry, you're feeling blue. This card is by Amy Rich. I think that is just a gorgeous card. Over here, I showed the other day this beautiful card kit with the poppies. It, it is just stunning. And then you can also get the, you get the stamp set separately. So here's another idea for the stamp set. How pretty is this? And this is underneath, this is the new square doily. Isn't that fun? And that looks, I just love these purple colors. This is Colleen Magnus. So you can get the whole thing and you get all those gorgeous cards to send but then these are things that you still get to use afterwards so that is beautiful oh what page we're on page eight and nine. Oh, and may i also say that i ordered 
a whole bunch of holiday catalogs. I ordered them all on one order with a two day delivery. They are coming three separate days in three separate packages. So that is just a comment on how slow and difficult mail is being because I know they'd come in three boxes, but you would think they'd come on the same day. <laughs> Instead, it's gonna be three trips to our house. So I just think uh, we just really all go with the flow right now. But if you have placed an order for me with me in the last six months, you are automatically getting one. If not, but you'd like a catalog from me and you aren't currently working with another demonstrator, I will have, I have, have, we'll have the link here. Just go there and request one and one will come to you. And I can't show those, so that's why it's really fun to do this. And then shortly, I can't show the inside of a catalog till it goes live, so that will be August 4th. But I can show all these beautiful ones, so I'm excited about that. These are two that I've shown before that I love. Celebrate Sunflowers and Jar of Fun. Look at these amazing cards. I just, this is just, both of these are just some of the most fun? amazing stamp sets. This is Penny Keener. Isn't that just lovely? And I love how she added the little butterfly there. And this one is Marianne Grimmer. And I think they are just gorgeous. Christine said she's not really a purple kind of crafter, but that kit is stunning. It is. I said, I've really gotten to love purple, and I would have said I wasn't really a purple person either, but I love the new, the purples that... It's because of prints. Um, oh, yeah, purple, because, you know, I'm from this, the land of prints here with the purple rain. Okay, Lovely You was one we could pre-order too. This is Sue Nurnberger, and this is her card. And this shows also how you can make your own designer series paper, you know, because... You know, just by filling it in and it's got the leaves coming out on the end there you know and if you don't order priority everything's even slower I mean but UPS everyone has come out and just said everyone's doing the best they can so we just can be grateful as crafters that we still get to create and that is just you know paper and ink and all that and another one that I have shown before beautiful world just a great stamp set and this um this is an easel card, isn't that cool? And this is by Rhonda Bassler. Mm -hmm. I think that is just a closer. lovely card. A little closer. Okay, is that good? Isn't that fun? Uh, oh, I love when I see the hearts and the thumbs up because it just also tells me what you really like. Okay, then we're gonna come over here and we have a little, uh, this is Game On. And then we have Campology. Now I think what's really, this is Tina Westerman. What I love here, is how she's got just the water splotches behind the lantern. Oh, I, we have just really been debating lately whether we should get a little tiny camper just for two people. <laughs> so we used to camp and we haven't camped for years now. And this is now when we just are so isolated, it'd just be fun to just get away and camp. So Ka we're thinking. Karen wants to be isolated in a camp, a camper. I do, I want to just get away. I just, <laughs> I'm just really, it's getting really, really long. <laughs> so this one I actually got my Christmas catalog from coming just today. So again, we all know that they are arriving at all different times too. So it is interesting. Yep, and this is Dice. It's your day, roll with it. And that's one that I did where I did a whole series. Time? This is for me. Um, oh, but I did you. a whole series of this layout with a whole bunch of different stamp sets. Okay. And, you know, and, and a lantern, if you do religious cards, I always think something like a lantern too, anything about light, any Bible verses, things like that, you're a light into my path. You know, I just think there's so many things you can do to things that are a little bit... Do they have a bushel? Out of the box. You can put that under a bu bushel. Oh, you could create one. I'm sure we could create something, but you know, so kind, kind of think beyond that. <laughs> now here we have Loyal Leaves. I will take anything with leaves. This card is by Susan Miller. And it also features the gold band, which are back ordered, but hopefully they're gonna be available at some point this month. But I thought, isn't that, isn't that cool? And we've got the brick wall there. So that is really fun. Kathy says her grandpa worked on the railroad. How cool is that? And he had a lantern like that to, for signaling trains. Oh, yes, what a treasure. And anyone who hearkens back to memories like that, too, even if you, you know, just growing up with, you know, I, that's really fun. Okay. Oh, this is one of yours, Tim. This is by Lisa Miltakis. Okay. And this is the Whiskey Business. We're now on page 33. I'll try to give page numbers if you're following along. What does it say? Sending you an old fashioned birthday card. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and I, I love, this is one of the little 
doodads. Uh, yeah, doodads. Some of the embellishments that go with that old world look that also hopefully will be available later this month. But I thought, and look how the glass is just raised right there and the decanters right there. Really a cool looking card and the way it's colored in. Oh, Christine said she loves the camping set because scout camp was always a lot of fun. Yeah, you think of Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, any family camping. I, I think camping, you know, for many, if you're older like us, a lot of it's nostalgia cards, but your kids might still be camping and we still want to camp. So I uh, thank you, Lisa. I think it is really fun to, to do that. Okay, next, the right triangle. Now, these are stitch dies that I think are just going to be fabulous for all kinds of things. But look at this cool card. So here we have one, two, three, three layers of the stitch triangles and then the words in the middle. So, you know, I have often done cards like this. We'll do that with designer series paper and then put your words, but look at, you can do it with the added layer of stitching. You know, it's just very special and it just leaves it exactly like that. So that is very fun. Megan says, if I get away, we should look into a yurt. Is that where you go, like rent a tent, kind of a I don't know your your place? Like, yeah. And I know some of the state parks in Minnesota rent Cab out cabins, cabins so yeah. we've thought about that too. Just you have to plan ahead and make sure it's available. <laughs> and here's a cool one: today's tiles. So this is this is page thirty-eight, and look at this. Namaste, but look at how pretty this is with the different colors. Uh, I think that is just really lovely. And this is Leanne Furness. And notice how she's done the ribbon. This is very cool. Here, going this way, it's tied, and then going this way, it's just knotted and wrapped around. Isn't that fun? So it's kind of like a crisscross. I just, you know, comments come in so behind, so I'm always a card ahead, and I thought, but I don't know how to go slower, so. Oh, and now we're gonna come up to the pampered pets, you know. We all know people who are gonna just gonna love getting dog or cat cards, and I thought, how cute is this one? I hope your day is a real treat. I love just the black and gray and white. Sean Perez. And all these little words on the background paper here. People that is very fun. The question. Okay. Uh, oh, the state parks went out yurts too. Oh, yeah. So we have to, we have to look at some of that kind of stuff. But uh, big one. Okay. Yes. So you guys are helping us plan it, plan a getaway. You didn't know that, but I said I'm just. But it won't be in this 90 degree <laughs> hot and humid weather. Let me tell you, it's got to be cooler than this. <laughs> so, oh, and here's one of Tim's. Oh. This is framed for you. So another card that he picked out. Love the colors in this, and this is a. These are, these are new colors. Shelley Gruber. Shelley Gruber. Beautiful. Isn't Gruber. that? This is the new bumblebee. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I think that's so fun. And then with the frame there, I'm the thinking of you. I think that is just a beautiful card. And as you know, I like color. I like bright. Mm -hmm. Renee said she's too old to sleep on the ground. Well, that's really our thought too, and that's why a camper really, really fits the bill for us. <laughs> with that. He's in that. And LaVar says, reminds you of a Scotty dog. Yes. You know the dog in this set? If, if you didn't know, this dog is patterned after... <laughs> Um, Sarah's. Sarah, Sarah's dog, yeah. yeah. So they were showing pictures of it. So so cute. It looks just like their dog. So that was kind of the idea for that. And I thought it's that fun. Okay, now we have basket of blooms, and here is a really fun. This is Sean Perez again, and look at this fun folds. Isn't that fun? It is a fun fold. It's really fun. But you know, I like how she's popped up the teapot there and this hangs down from the top and it opens like that and has your words and then you just write a little bit under here or up here so I think that's really Sean, perfect. Sean the farmer? Juanita wants a camper with air conditioning yes well see we'll only go we'll only be fair weather campers yes. I love nothing more than feeling the breeze with these open and a tent that's just kind of my favorite part but I'm more of a we are more of autumn campers than summer campers so. <laughs> Sean the one that raises horses? That uh Worked on a horse farm, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yep. And then we have Hippo Happiness, which is a really a darling set, and this is Lynn Feldkamp. And look how cute this card is! Isn't this fun? And one of the new dies, and we've got the fun little hippo and all these layers. And I love her little hippo birthday with the popped up balloon here. 
And you know, this is popped up and these are popped up. So you can just make that whole thing. It's not like this is gonna just stick up alone. I think that is just as sweet as can be. It, ah, it does look like the dog, dog from Disney too, Kathy said, so very fun. Christine said, you've up to a camper van this year. That sounds good. Oh, what page am I on? 49. Thank you, thank you. 49, am I going too fast or are we okay? But this is just adorable. And look at some of these words. You, E-U-E, are special. Thank you so much. To when you. in doubt, be a unicorn. Hippo birthday. hip hoppity, hooray. Hip, hip, hippo, hooray. <laughs> A fluttering by just to say hi, so those are fun. Now this is one I've shown, I don't have one with this set yet. This is one to show the blossoms in bloom. I've shown this before, but I love this one. It's just um, so elegant. Connie Bjork, and just very simple on patterned paper with the die. And that's all. Now this is 51. That's all, that's all fussy cut. Yeah, that's right. That's what Tim wants to do for the next. <laughs> and then this one is monogram messages. And this is Joanne Bacherman. And you see she's got the C for celebrate. And then she's just added some, some dies and fun paper and it opens like that. So that's really a cute set. So it's H for heartfelt hello happy, B for beautiful baby birthday, and C for celebrate congratulations cherish. So that is very fun. Or if your name starts with those letters. Yes. And here's another adorable card, the Zoo Globe. And you know, we have the Globe set from last year, so this goes with it. So it's like an add-on. But look at this cute card. Happy birthday, and we got the little koala bear, some little koala in there, Lisa Schmid. And I think that is just sweet as can be. So what did Lisa do this last weekend? Oh, they're camping. Lisa, Lisa's in my downline. And, I think that's part oh, of Karen's She's part of my inspiration. inspiration. They're yes. up on the North Shore camping, and I was seeing her pictures and thinking, ooh, I want to be there. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> okay, and next, we have this, Flowering Blooms. Another gorgeous card by Lisa Bowell. Look how pretty this is. How fun it is with the coloring and then on this rich background. Hold it We're on page 70. And hold it at an angle because this really does have some, it has some sparkle um, to it. Yes, it's got the shimmer, the wink of Stella on here. Uh, and you really can see it in person. It doesn't show up so well on here. But that it's just very dramatic done with the, the dark background here. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. It's very cool though. Uh, so, Kathy Turner said she just tuned in. She had to order dinner. Oh, so sad to hear that. But no counter, no stove, no sink. Tomorrow she gets a new countertop. Wow. Oh, you'll have a whole new kitchen. That sounds really exciting. This, this flower, if you're talking about, it's huge. Yeah. You know, it's fun to see cards because you really notice how much they take up on the space. But I think this is really stunning. So that is just very fun. And then we've got... Round of applause right here. So a fun congratulations card. A well-deserved round of applause. And here we have the square doily again behind it. And this is by Janice Waitman. Janice and I were on the advisory board the same year with Stampin' Up! So that's very fun. She's in Chicago where we're hoping to go really soon to visit grandkids. Okay, then we have Posted For You, which has a great punch oh, love anything with punches so this cute card is amy notch and if and it goes like this so we pull it it's one of Whoa. those sending love your way this isn't that fun and then it flips down again so a fun fold card that is cool <laughs> uh and this is page 81 the floral is not fussy cut no it's got a die most most of these things have dies that we're showing you but isn't this just a fun and then of course the the punch by itself is awesome too. Okay, now here's a prize peony. I've shown cards with this before, but this is a brand new card with this. And this is from Kathy Seal, who's also in my downline. And this is one of the fun fold cards we are doing in our first fun folds class in July. So, you know, that we're talking about being a charter member of, but look how, how stunning this is. Whoa, it's not a fun the way it folds up. And of course, for the class, you could use circles, you could use any dies that you have. So that's just an idea, but I just love how she did it with those dies. And at, when I first saw this, I couldn't figure out what stamp set it's from because you almost don't notice sometimes when it's the smaller stamp 
in the set. But I also love the words and just the elegant script in this. Anyway, this, this is a gorgeous card. And this is also run through the Settles folder. Christine says, I have some super talented crafters that send me cards. Yes, I do. And you know, this is actually one of my favorite parts about being a demonstrator. And when people say, how do you come up with ideas? If I'm looking for ideas for classes, I like to look at real cards. That's just me. I love having a big card collection. And then I also have cards that I can freely send out. Uh, but I absolutely love it. Okay, so that was page 84. Now we're going up to page 90. And this is ridiculously awesome. Do you know these were penned by Shelley's husband, Sean, who is really an S Sarah's artist. Husband. Sarah, Sarah's husband. <laughs> See, I'm going to mix up. Sarah and Shelley are too similar, and I'm getting too much older. Well, yes, but I mean that. <laughs> people were laughing because I did. But. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it'll be me too. But I, I think that's just really fun. And look how, I, I love how words can be the main part of your card. And then you just add another die and, you know, and this is like a color on a color. I think this is just really a, a lovely card. It's Denise Quail. Oh, good. People are saying they love Kathy Seals cards. So, yes, we'll enjoy that for class. That will be very fun. Amy Rich. So we have, and here's Amy Rich again. And this is the Nothing Better Than, which is really a very vintage -y looking set. And I love what she did with this. Look at this. <laughs> Cocktails, because adulting is hard. <laughs> But this is the new rainbow paper. And so she just stamped and cut it out of there. And I thought, that is just perfect. It looks just really great for that. That's kind of frilly, isn't it? That well, yeah, just that little touch there. Yeah, it was just really a great card. <laughs> and then we have the whale done. And I, my last Thursday's Facebook Live was we did... Uh, I don't know, four or five different cards with this. Love this set. I just think this has been so much fun, the, both the paper and the stamp set. So this card is by Lori Healy. And she's stamped all these different images on here. And then we've got the fun background. Isn't that cute? My love for you is bigger than the ocean. That's not stamped, though. That's a little... No, and these are little seashore sea sequin sea things. Isn't that, isn't that fun? Yes. So that is a very fun card. It's a whale of a card. It is. It is. So that is 96. And next. Oh, here's one, one of, of yours. Tim's. You know what's really fun about this set is it's dies and then um, all the letters. You can make it say anything. All right. Let's see. Leanne Furnace. Leanne Furnace. Now look at this. And these are letters that Karen's talking about that are raised up. So Tim, I could make you a card and put Tim on it, right? Is that You could. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that nice? Isn't that fun? And then it just folds up like that. So that is really cool. This is page 100. Very cool. Kidoke. And so are you enjoying this? <laughs> it's just fun to kind of stroll through and see all these cool things. Okay. This is... We're now on page 103, and this is Happiest of Birthdays, which is some large greetings. And I just want to point out how amazing and awesome this is for a really simple card. Look at this. The words basically fill the card. You just add a little bit of background, and you have a gorgeous card. And it's amazing and awesome. Yes. And do you realize where she put the sequins? Can you tell that? Mm -hmm. Why she chose those places? Yeah, oh, for eyes. For they're all eyes. Yes, yeah. <laughs> for the, all the little eyes. She put a rhinestone on for the dots. <laughs> oh, good! You guys are enjoying it. So, <laughs> who's that from? Oh, uh, Tammy Nelson. Uh, am I okay? I'm holding it there. I'm still trying to. Okay, Christine says this is a fun way to go through the catalog. Good. I just love doing this. I think. Uh, Okay, and then next we've got first this fun birthday, which is just going to make super easy cards and cute. This is Amy Notch, and it's just stamp. That is just a single stamp on there, and then she's just decorated it with a few things. Then we have the adorable Zany Zebras. Oh, this is just one of the most popular sets. This is a really cute card by Lisa Miltakis. 
Notice how she's done the ribbon. She's got two ribbons and then she just tied a knot. And so you see one ribbon on top there and the other one on top there. So it's just kind of a fun look with ribbons. Kathy said she didn't didn't used to like the large greetings, but styles have changed. And now there's so many cute cards with larger sentiments. Now, styles really do change. And I think we, uh, you know, if you look back, when I started in 1996, I just think it's so fun to look back and see what we made then and what we thought was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I love how styles change. You know, it's just like with scrapbooking. You know, you could kind of date, if you're looking at people's scrapbooks, you could kind of date the era, if they're handmade, when they were made, because our styles keep changing. And I love that because it also just says something about the era, but the same with card making. So I think that's so cute. And another really popular set. Becky Lynn thinks that they're stinking cute. <laughs> Kathy Zucker, who was sent? It was Kathy Zucker, right? That sent this, uh, we just, we, anyway, we were talking, we were talking about you today. So we were looking at a card that you made, but um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, where is the background stamp on the zebra? Oh, this is in the Playful Pets. Somebody's asking, this is cat hair. <laughs> it's what I assume it from. It's in the Playful Pets. And isn't that perfect for the zebra? So you get double, double use out of it. Now, this Way to Goat set is another one that is going to be just so popular. And this is a really fun card by Jennifer Cotton. That's just, how cute is that? Colored in with the blends and then always thinking of you. I just think that is a great card. <laughs> and it's got funny sayings like, I got you a cake, but I ate it. <laughs> and wait a goat for a celebration card. Happy birthday, you old goat. <laughs> and you're the goat, greatest of all time. That reminds me, you know, when Tim worked at Starbucks, they called him, I don't know, for ages. What did they call you? OG. OG. He thought it meant old, old guy. Old guy. He thought they were calling him old guy for like a whole year. And then somebody told him it meant original, original gangsta, gangsta. And it's a compliment. <laughs> and they, they were saying that, they were basically saying that I was cool. Yes. So isn't that funny? And, you know, he was by far the oldest person working there. So it's by far. It is so funny. To, to put that, you know, it's just very fitting. And then this funny card, Senior Years. So here is one by this and done in purples because, you know, uh, what is that? When I am get old, I'm going to wear purple or something. And this is Julie Fracky. And it says, happy birthday. It feels like we've been friends forever. Which is weird because we're both about 29, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I got a birthday card. Actually... Yes, yes. No, Karen, using got, this. Yes. Karen got one, and I was yes. flirting with, with the la the ladies or the girls. Yes. I said, <laughs> so anyway. So you guys, Nancy's asking if I ever photograph them, like for inspiration in a folder. I don't. I just hang on to my favorites. Um, and sometimes it's the layout. It isn't even the image, because I have a couple of bins that are just kind of my layout ideas or something that inspired me. I pass a lot on, but I always know that there's going to be more, but I just love having cards. If you want some of these, at one point I tried photographing every card. It is way too much work because then to add the person's name, I mean, it is just very laborious. But you can always watch this again, and if you know how to do a screenshot on your computer, that's what I would tell you when we come to a card that you really like, and that way you'll remember it. So that would be my suggestion. Okay, Forever Fern is another oh, really, really popular set. And so I've shown cards like this before, but I don't know if, but isn't this a cute card? Wraps like that. It is just, and it's beautiful papers. Everything about this is lovely. This is Karen Braxton. So that is a beautiful card. So, and then, so mm -hmm. That's not a fun fold, is it? Or? Yeah, because it's a, it's a wrap. It wraps like that, okay. which is really cool, isn't it? So that's a cool card. It is. Deb Phil says she thinks the red hat ladies wore purple tops along with the red hat. Ooh, those would make perfect red hat ladies cards, wouldn't they? Oh, and Christine says, Tim flirting with the ladies? Surely not. No. No. <laughs> no, no, no not at all. Okay. Um, I don't think purple and red go together, do they? It doesn't matter. It's a statement. Oh, it's, it's a, a statement, statement of being bold okay. as we get older. Yes. I just you know, give away any inhibitions we had because it just doesn't matter. So, <laughs> oh, purple hats are for your birthday month. Oh, and then otherwise it's red. And I know it's pink if you're like under, is it 50 or 60 or something? Obviously, I never have been in one. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, nor will she. <laughs> yes. 
And then we have Sending Sunshine. And this is going, and look at this, look at this setting. Isn't this pretty? And I love how she has taken this. And she would be Lori Healy. I love how she's taken one of these dies and just created a little scene out of it and then layered it and put on the rest. I thought that is just really cool. And just like fresh, it's really, it's like a summer, but it's more of a summer cool evening. You know, we kind of have the pink sky and uh, thanks to all the uh, dust storms coming in from Africa. But you know, just, isn't that just a lovely setting? Can I ask you, I'm colorblind, but I think that really goes nicely with yeah. With those, is that yeah, true? it does. It does. That's beautiful. I love that. Yep. as an accent, and that doesn't. I know it's an interesting use of colors, and it yeah, works, and I just love it, it. And again, it it's just a little. It's refreshing because it's a fresh look because it's not kind of what you're used to seeing. And then this is one I showed again before. Page Field of Flowers, 117. 117 by Suzanne Campfield. This again is a punch, and it punches little flowers. But isn't that a pretty little card? Yes, Julie, that's right. It's a poem. When I when I am an old woman, I will wear purple with the red hat that doesn't go on. So she's saying, yeah, okay. So, so. It's actually a title. Uh, no, okay, you don't, th this catalog, this catalog, you should have this catalog. If you do not have this catalog, you know, we don't know what's happened in the mail. Would you send me an email and I will send it with the holiday catalog? Because um, yes, you, you would have, you would have gotten one. So we're just having issues with some mail. So this time I'm not having Stampin' Up! send them out either. They're all coming to my house and I'm sending them out. I just feel like it's just safer that way. Birds and Branches, so I showed I this one before. We are sending it out. Oh, well, yeah, uh, Tim is actually sending them out. Holly does the labels, so I don't know if there's really a we in there. I just have to remember to order them, but... Um, <laughs> Tim. Uh, Holly does all the labels, sends them over, and then Tim attaches them all and runs to the post office so I guess I'm kind of out of the equation. <laughs> I answer comments from people who didn't get theirs and send out a new one so but we sent out so many doubles you know with just the issues we had this last time so I decided I'd much rather have is it but pretty? isn't that pretty this is um, Kim Peck just love the soft shading sponging there to make the, sh the shading. <laughs> Oh, Ruth said the poem starts, when I am old, I will wear purple and a red hat that doesn't go and doesn't suit me. I didn't even know that's how the rest of that went. So, Tim, <laughs> you knew exactly where it was heading. <laughs> um, Lori Barto. This is really a gorgeous card. And this is another new set, All Things Fabulous. This has die cuts, but notice she's just used the stamps in it. But isn't that beautiful? And another just bright summer card. Oh, for anyone who's a gardener or loves flowers in the house. I just think that that's really great and it says you make the flowers smell sweeter and the sunshine brighter it's laura i'm sorry laura i'm sorry i put in why at the and end. i love the saying in here nobody gets me like you do <laughs> that's perfect <laughs> wishing you all things fabulous so okay so next oh this is just isn't this a great page catalog? 125 and this is oh this is probably my most used definitely my most used dyes i just the dyes that go with this tasteful touches are so amazing and this is a lovely card with the stamp set and again deb clafake Cl Cl uh this is one we've shown before but i just love it so we're just showing you know so here's the thing as demonstrators what's really cool with the big catalog we get a list of things we can pre-order a month early because the catalog's so huge they can't have everything available now with the holiday catalog because it is only in quotes 85 pages we could order anything in the catalog we just can't show the inside till it opens but that is just one of the perks about being a demonstrator and then we can join swaps so we can start the catalog off with a bunch of card ideas talk about the textures because that and that yes this is text this is paper that's one of the beautiful um in good taste paper just absolutely love that and then this is a new die which this is a really nice soft pretty look and to see how she stamped first and then you run it through the Ooh. die cut through that through the embossing folder so very fun and that's deb and oh look at how gorgeous lovely colors and beautiful this is fancy phrases you got that bright pink and green and notice page how, 126 and this is betty weisbrook and this is uh from the hippo bundle it's one of the dies from there but i want you to notice how the it almost goes off the page which over off the uh die which wouldn't matter if it does they often say you know a new stamper because they're 
they, they center everything and they're afraid to be artsy and move things off. But I just love that look. And this does just barely fit on, but isn't that great? It kind of fills that whole space. And Betty is not a new stamper. And it would also look good if it's smaller. I mean, you can do anything. You could use a bigger shape and have that in the middle. You could use a smaller one and have it filled in. But I think those are such happy colors. And then we have Arrange a Wreath and another beautiful soft. This one is Shelly Gruber. Isn't that pretty dye for a wreath? Uh, I just I think that's lovely. And then all these other little details she's got on, best wishes. That, just a pretty um, anniversary card, wedding card, anything, birthday card. But I think that is really fun. Shelly's contributed a lot. And this says, Merry Christmas. So you can do a Christmas wreath too. Give thanks. You can do an autumn wreath. Just notice all these different things. And Happy Easter. And Happy Heart Day. <laughs> so you can do all these different things with this set, which is also cool. Then we have Hand Drawn Blooms. Page 132. This card is by Jill Olson. And notice how she is stamped. this whole thing uh, in the background and then this part she also stamped over some white and colored in just that part oh they really do pop they, they, they disappear when they're black and white yep but they really do come out when you color yeah them. so it's just an interesting technique so oh. that yeah. is very fun so if you can see that they're actually over here but they, they really don't show up right Here's just kind of background. I can't believe I don't have a card yet with the plaid builder, but I know I will get them. Okay, and here, and I don't have one yet of walking in the woods, but look at this field journal. Look how pretty this is. This is one of the wood elements, and it's just put into early espresso ink. You just dip it right in, and so that makes it the dark color. Isn't that fun, just adding that little texture? And this is just done in early espresso, and our and then the same in good taste, the wood green papers. And this is Denise Quayle. And then we have Queen Anne's Lace, which is just a pretty card down here. And this is Penny Keener. Um, so I'm getting some questions about the big shot. And let me just tell you, I'm not gonna do a lot. I think the biggest trick is just to kind of play with your different thicknesses. Um, you know, Stampin' Up's Big Shot is going to be available really soon. So I'll be doing a whole bunch of videos and tutorials on that. So I think I'm going to wait on that. But if you have the current, what you want to do is go ahead and use different, try different plates, try adding a sheet of cardstock under. Just play around because I notice, you know, mine are very old and very, very well used. And I think they're a little looser over time and then it's so... You know, they're, they're all a little different. It's just a machine, so that's just the best I can do there. But if you notice on this, there are little lines done right there as little added accents, and this just has the design down the front. So did I say that was Penny Keener? So how cool is that? And then, of course, when I show the new big machine, it, things are going to fit with the old, too, the ideas that I use. So that is it, except for the two amazing... I showed these before, so I have to show them again. There are just two whole sets in here. The only way to get these are to have a $150 order, because then you can use these as whole sets. Or if you order from me six months in a row, you get to choose any stamp set, anything up to $30 in the catalog. And that's the time you could get one of these too. So those are the two ways. But this summer days, oh, this is me <laughs> uh, as a kid. This is Who's how summers from? were spent. Who made it? And look how, how gorgeous this is. And to my extraordinary granddaughter, and there is a grandchildren set in here, which is great. This is Gail Connolly. And then it says inside, so smart, fun, so sweet, and so wonderful. That's all from the granddaughter kit. But isn't that just beautiful coloring and just such a, the way, you know, it's, it's just a, an awesome card. And then this one, Touched, Touched My Heart by Amy Rich. Thought this is a gorgeous wedding card. And when I first looked at this, I didn't see any possibilities. And I looked at this card and it's like, whoa, that is just stunning. It's just gorgeous with the heart right there. And then this is a stamp from the Touch by Nature on the back, which makes just a really beautiful background. So that is it. We appreciate you going through this walkthrough of the catalog for us. And if you missed the beginning announcements, 
We raised just over $4,000 for Tanzania to rebuild homes that were washed away in the flood in the middle of this COVID and intense um, crop failure and uh, food shortage, just everything. So we are just thrilled to be sending that over. And um, I think that's it. So we'll see you on Thursday. This is the host code. Let me know if you have, oh, and what you get this month, I'm pretending we're going to Hawaii, like our, our plans were with Stampin' Up, and now we're home. So I'm doing my mystery box. So if you place a $50 order, you're gonna get a box or a bag, but it's gonna have at least $25 worth of discontinued product in it. So it's gonna be like a surprise, a mystery box, and on up. So 150, it would be 75. And um, my gift to you, plus a really cute card, of course. But I think that will be really fun. So thank you, everyone, and we'll see you on Thursday. And somebody please come up with an acronym for this. Oh, yes, that will be fun, because this is a... Uh, uh, <laughs> but the Z has to stand for Zippy. I, I think Tim, <laughs> I think Tim could work on that. I think, <laughs> so we'll see what he comes up with for Thursday. <laughs> if we have any other. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Good night. Okay. Keep talking because I got to go. You know, through. I'm home. It is so hot. I am not stepping foot out of this house. So feel free to call me if you have questions about anything. 612-929-1277. I am finally getting, I've been a little slow to respond to messages. Holly told me to just ignore my messages for now till she, because most of them are about stamp sets people wanted in the sale. So she said she's got to get through all of those and then it will be the one. So if you have a message to me, email me at ktstamp at usinternet.com and see you on Thursday. Good night. Bye.